Your second point you raise is that do not try and boost the economy, do not raise government spending. Don't boost the economy by raising government. Yeah. A lot of people are saying that's what you need to do. Yeah. So exactly, this is basically, essentially, a better way to put this is to say, don't increase the deficit anymore because it's already very don't high. Don't have room. Yeah, we don't have, we just yeah. don't have room. And that's the third point you say, again, which everybody is saying, and you're saying do not cut yeah. personal income tax rate because your 5.5 budget deficit, not 3.5, so don't think that you've got room to uh, play See, with. Yeah, th here there are two points, uh, at right, least, right. Uh, 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 Pranoya. Yeah. One is the whole point about whether we have room for this or not, right? But the second point is that, look, there's a general concern that we have to boost consumption, which is a valid concern, right? But then you have to ask, if, if you cut the tax rates in, to, to boost consumption, who does this benefit? It benefits, you know, because who pays the individual income tax? The top four, five percent of India. The right. bottom 90 percent are much poorer. You know, those are the people whose consumption you want to boost. So if you want right. to boost consumption right. and you have limited space, you know, you, you have an allocation problem. You know, do you right. want to give it to the to the rich or, or you, know, right, right. you know, the salaried middle class, but right. they're also very high up in the income I mean, distribution. compared to the relatively exactly, rich, yeah, yes. Exactly. Yes. So I would say, therefore, if you have to boost consumption, a much more effective and just way of doing this would be to give something like you know transfer direct benefit transfers you know universal basic income or even expand programs like pm kisan right. much more effective much more equitable and way. much more targeted yeah, that's much more very targeted. Point, important point yeah. you raise about uh, taxes just affect a, a, yeah. a relatively rich lot yeah. and you also say do not raise gst rates do not increase those and your final point is do not blame GST for all this. Now, explain those two. See, I, I, I think that, look, look, there's a lot of pressure to increase GST rates coming from what's happening with, between the center and the state. States say, you know, pay us our 14 percent. Center says we don't have, you know, money is not there in the GST. Uh, so that's why the pressure has come to increase GST rates. So, but I think that the reason not to increase GST rates now is first, you know, when an economy is kind of slowing down and in such a way, you shouldn't raise taxes. In any either, case, correct? yeah. And second, it's very odd, right? If you, you, on the one hand, you want to reduce income tax rates to boost consumption, and the other, you're raising GST rates, for, which is going to actually affect... Uh, reduce consumption, effect. Yeah, effect reduce consumption. So, so, you and know, by the way, both uh, contradictory as well as one is for the rich and it, one it, is for it, everybody. Exactly. That's it very just good does point. not make exactly. sense. Yeah. So, so what I think we need to do is we need a wholesale re-evaluation of the GST rate structure, but once the economy has recovered. In a, in, a, in a kind of slowdown is not the time to tinker with these things. Let the economy stabilize, right. and then we need a wholesale r review. And then if, you know, we should probably go much more to the structure that I suggested in my right. you know, revenue neutral rate report.